Tropical soda apple has the potential to become a costly weed in an extensive area of coastal and subcoastal Queensland, affecting our agricultural industries and natural environment. It has been found in a number of locations in northeastern New South Wales and could spread to Queensland's coastal regions and further inland. The spread of this weed has been associated with cattle transported from infested areas. Tropical soda apple is an upright, multi-branched shrub between 50 centimetres and 2 metres high. The leaves and stems have thorn-like prickles up to 12 millimetres long. The leaves are 10 to 20 centimetres long, 6 to 15 centimetres wide and covered with short hairs and white prickles. Its flowers are white with five petals that curl back and they have white or cream stamens. Immature fruits are smooth, round and mottled, light and dark green like a watermelon. Mature fruits turn yellow and are one to three centimetres in diameter with a leathery skin surrounding a pale green scented pulp. The fruit contains 180 to 240 seeds which are pale brown, tear-shaped and three millimetres wide. Tropical soda apple looks similar to other non-native species such as devil's fig, giant devil's fig, devil's apple and apple of Sodom. Look for tropical soda apple in areas where cattle congregate such as holding yards, watering points and along creek banks. Tropical soda apple reproduces from seeds. These seeds are spread primarily by cattle, but also by birds, feral pigs, deer, contaminated hay and water. They can also be spread when a vehicle or machine is driven through a weed-infested area, as seeds can become lodged and carried considerable distances before dislodging in new areas. Early detection and control is vital to stop the spread and protect our agricultural industries. Be on the lookout for tropical soda apple and treat infestations when they are small. Don't allow this weed to establish. If you think you have seen tropical soda apple, call Biosecurity Queensland on 13 25 23 or report suspect plants online using our weed identification form.